special word of welcome to Dr. Jodi Sophia, ma'am, who's here. Thank you, ma'am, for your presence today. Friends, the sudden demise of the executive director of this play, Professor A. Dhinakar, has left us with vacuum that can never be filled. Yet, he never failed to fill our lives with love, trust, sincerity and honesty. This play is a befitting tribute to Professor A. Dinakar, our dear A.D. Presenting the hero, Dr. Fastest, who falls from the heights of knowledge and reason into the pits of the forbidden. Tampering with nature, he commits sin after sin in wretched company that feeds the evil in him while the good dies a slow death. Witness him rolling from the mount of righteousness into the engulfing dust of hell. Watch to learn all the shapes that nourish and destroy us. Yeah. 
of masters decide finally your future course of studies and sit down to discover the farthest depth of subject you propose to study. Having taken the doctorate in theology, fix your ambition to reach the farthest end of knowledge of the divine subject. Better read Jerome's Bible. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and there is no truth in us. Since all must sin, all must die. Yes, eternal sleep is the end of all life. What will be, shall be. If it is so, dignity, <laughs> farewell. For more alluring are the books and treatises on magic and supernatural powers. The books dealing with the art of raising the spirits of death are heavenly indeed. They offer unbounded profits, lush, power, honor, and authority to the studious magician. If I study magic, I shall have full command over everything from one pole to the other. A great magician is a great god indeed. Therefore, fastest must devote to the study and practice of magic. A fastest to obey the devil book of magic. To study fastest, otherwise it will contaminate your soul. Philosophy, 
There's no doll and thieves. Long physic, soon petty minds only. Do you need me? The 
I'm afraid he has fallen in love with the damned magic for which those two are notorious in the world. Let me go. The figures of all the supernatural spirits of death. Prince 
of hell. <laughs> Faustus has already done so. He holds this birth to be the most potent spirit and dedicates himself to his souls. The word damnation does not terrify him now. He makes no distinction between heaven and hell. May his spirit join the non-believing philosophers, but leave these reflections on this human soul and let me know what is Lucifer for whom I have now to serve. Lucifer is the supreme commander of spirits of hell. Was he not once an angel? Yes, he was the dearest angel of God. How then has he become the prince of devils? <laughs> he fell to ambition, pride and insolence. And God hurled him down from heaven to eternal hell. And what are you, that servant Lucifer? I am one of those unhappy spirits who fell with Lucifer for conspiring against God and who are damned forever. Why are you damned? In hell. Why are you out of hell then? This is hell. I am not out of hell. Do you think that I, who have seen the glory of God and enjoyed the blessings of heaven, am I not tormented with the pangs of ten thousand hell? Oh, Faustus, read these thoughtless and sinful demands, which make even my soul shake with terror. <laughs> Is Mephistopheles really so sentimental about the withdrawal of his heavenly blessings? Take pleasant from me and condemn the blessings of heaven which are not for you. Go and give this message to great Lucifer that Faustus has incurred eternal damnation by blaspheming the Holy Trinity. Say he surrenders his soul to him. In return of the following boons, he should be permitted to live free for 24 years. And you should be constantly attending on me and bringing me whatever I ask for and telling me whatever I seek to know. You should kill my enemies, help my friends, and ever remain obedient to my commands. Now, go back to Lucifer and meet me at midnight in my study and inform me of your master's verdict. I will, Faustus. If I had as many souls as there are stars in the sky, I shall willingly surrender them to Mephistopheles. Through her aid, I shall become the supreme monarch of the world and can make bridge through air in order to explore seas and oceans along with my followers. Now that I have achieved this great power, let me further meditate on this art until Mephistopheles comes back to me.
cooking must be well roasted and served with sauce. Well, food. Are you willing to serve me? If so, I will proclaim he that is my desire. <laughs> will you proclaim in imagination? No, boy. In all reality, by paying you in gold and silver, he I offer you a few gold coins. Oh, what coins are these? These are French coins. French coins. These French coins are as useless as pouch of red English coins. What shall I do with them? Ah, fool! You need but an hour, and the devils will bring you anything you want and take you anywhere you like. No, no, take back your coins. Truly, I'll none of them. Truly, but you shall. Bad witness. I gave them. Bad witness. Yeah, give them your again. Well, I'll call two devils presently to fetch your soul away. Balliol and Belchor. <laughs> Balliol and Belchor. Balliol and Belchor. <laughs> Balliol and Belchor. Let them come. I will knock them down or I will kill or knock them. And how I shall be admired by the people fighting towards me. People will say the tall fellow kill the devil. I shall be known as Propitiate him by offering fresh blood. <laughs> 
of newborn infants. <laughs> Fresh blood. But the Christ will be that so even God will not be able to have your safe. Your safe. Have no doubts about it. Mephistopheles, bring me a message from Lucifer. Come, Mephistopheles. It's the midnight. Come. Come, Mephistopheles. Oh, Mephistopheles. Now tell me, what is your Lord's plan? He has commanded me to serve on pastors as long as he lives. Thereby, Lucifer will buy his soul. Pastors has already rendered us up. But pastors, you must pledge your soul solemnly to Lucifer. This is Lucifer's condition. If you refuse to accept this condition, I go back to hell. Oh, no, 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 Mr. Stupulus. Stay, stay. But, but of, of what use will be my soul to Lucifer? to enlarge his number of followers. Is it for this purpose that he comes human beings? It is a consolation for the wretched to have companies in war. Well, do you also feel the pain you that torture others? We suffer as much as human souls. Now tell me, Faustus, do you pledge your soul to me? If so, I shall be your slave and serve on you. I can bring you anything you demand with your limited human vision. Yes, Mephistopheles, I am willing to pledge my soul to you. Then bleed your arm boldly and sign the bond in your own blood. That Lucifer may take your soul on the appointed day. Thereby, you will be as great and potent. <laughs> Great. Great.
When I see heavens, I repent and curse you, wicked Mephistopheles, because you have deprived me of heavenly blessings. I will give up this magic and repent. Yes, Masters. Yes. If you repent, God will have mercy on you. You are a devil of pastors. So God will have no pity on you. Who is crossing my ears that I am a devil? Even if I were a devil, God will pity me if I repent. Yes. Pastors will never repent. My heart has grown so hard that I cannot now repent. I can hardly pronounce the words salvation, faith or heaven. As soon as I think of them, a faint echo resounds in my ears. Pastors, the word I looked out at swords, knives, poisons, blades, harpers and poison blades to kill myself with. In fact, I should have long killed myself. Why should I die? Or feel despair? I am resolved and will never repent again. Oh, Mephistopheles, let us again discuss some problems concerning astrology. Tell me, how many spheres are there in all? Nine. The sky, the planet, and the heaven. Oh, well, I'm satisfied. Now tell me, who made this world? I will not answer this question. Dear Mephistopheles, tell me. Don't excess Faustus. I will not tell you that. Rascal, are you not bound to tell me anything? But this question is against the rules of a kingdom. Faustus should think of hell rather than heaven or earth. For Faustus is dark. Who oh, Faustus? Think of God who made the world. Remember this, Faustus. Go to your first hell at the devil, because you have brought damnation upon Faustus, distressed soul. Go! Oh Lord Christ, Savior of men, Redeem my soul. This is my 
They have come to take away your soul. No, we have come to tell you that you offended us by talking of Christ. This is against the condition of your born. You should not think of God, but of the devil only. Think of his damnation too. I will not do so again. Pardon me this time. I vow, I will never look to heaven again or never pronounce the name of God. I will murder his priest, burn his scriptures and beat my serving spirits to bring down his churches. <laughs> yes, you must do so. And we shall greatly reward you. We have come from hell to give you a little entertainment. Sit down fastest and see the procession of seven little sins in their proper forms. The sight of the sins must be as pleasing to me as the paradise must have looked at Adam on the fourth day of its creation. Don't talk of paradise of creation. See the great show talk of the devil, nothing else.
you like the show pastas? It has pleased me much. <laughs> so you see, all pleasures are there in hell. Yes. I wish to go to see hell and come back again. I shall be very happy then. I will let you see hell. I will call you at midnight. In the meantime, read this book. This will teach you to change yourself into any form you like. Thanks, Lucifer. I will preserve this book carefully as my love. Farewell, Pastors. Think of the devil and the devil only.
about your skill and magic, not in my empire, or even in the whole world, can compete with you in the miracle of magic. It is said that you have great control over the spirits through whom you can do whatever you want. Now my request was that you demonstrate some feats for my eyes to see and confirm whatever I've heard with my ears. I swear on the name of my imperial crown and honor that whatever you may do, you will not be punished. My lord, he looks like a great magician. <laughs> My lord, let me confess, I don't deserve the honor that people have given me. But I am bound to your majesty by the ties of love and duty. Thereby, I shall be glad to do whatever your majesty commands me. Then listen to me, Dr. Faustus. A little while ago, I was sitting alone in my chamber and hardly meditating. Then I began thinking of my glorious ancestors. One of those glorious ancestors is Alexander the Great in the underworld. Where the controller lies. Raised him to the upper world along with his beautiful thighs. Raised them in their proper shapes, gestures, and robes like they look in their lifetime. If you could do that, you will give me a great chance to admire you. My lord, I am ready to fulfill your demand so far as it pleases to me by my heart and by the power of my spirit. For him it's nothing. <laughs> but if it pleases you, it is not within my power to revive them in their physical bodies because they have already been dissolved into elements. Oh, Dr. Fastest, you have so much of grace around your face. <laughs> My love, I can do one thing. Spirits closely resembling Alexander and his belong may appear before your majesty in the very manner that they live in the prime of your clothes. I trust that this will satisfy your curiosity. <laughs> yes, Dr. Fastus, let me see them presently. Yes, Dr. Fastus, bring Alexander and this paramour before the Emperor. <laughs> How then, sir? As surely as got a Diana and an Action into a stag. <laughs> no, sir. When Action died in the form of the stag, he left the horns for you. Mephistopheles, bring them. Yes, and also go to conjure spirits. I will talk to you soon for interrupting me again and again. Surely, they do not see. 
seem to be spirits. But real substantial bodies of the glorious royal figure. <laughs> well, my lord, will you now call for the knight who was just joking with me? Surely, one of you, call the knight. Sir Knight, please, please feel what there is on yours. <laughs> <Dead. coughs> <coughs> you damned man and a contemptible dog, born in the hall of some dark gate, have had wrong the gentleman. Rascal, withdraw these arms. Ah! No, sir, there is no honey. Do you not remember how you interpreted my talk with the emperor? I think I avenged you. Now, now, good doctor, please, please release him from your spell. He has repented sufficiently. My love. I have done this not so much to avenge you, but to give you a little amusement. <laughs> well, I am amused. Well, I am satisfied too. Therefore, I will draw my spell. So, knight, always remember to speak respectfully to the stalls. <laughs> Mephistopheles, transform him to the normal form. Now, Your Majesty, I seek your permission to go. Farewell, good doctor. But before you go, expect a great reward from me. He's an honest man, having neither a wife nor 
a child. Well, let me have the money. My girl will deliver the horse to you. And I warn you, never take the horse into water. Into water? <laughs> uh, why, sir, does your horse not drink water? No, he will drink water, but, but don't ride him into water. You can ride him over hillocks or ditches, but not into water. <laughs> Well, sir, my fortune is made forever. I shall have the horse for $40, oh. even if it was worth, maybe for only an old song. Hey, ding, ding. <laughs> I shall be glad. Well, oh. Hmm. Well, goodbye, sir. Bye. Uh, but sir, if the horse falls ill, could you please tell me what to do? Do I look like a horse doctor? Yes. One day, sir. Oh. warning not to ride the horse into water. I was halfway into the pond and my horse vanished away. I was saved from drowning on a floating bundle of hay. Well, let me find Dr. Faustus and demand my $40 back. Oh, there is a servant. Hey, you. Me, sir. Where is your master? Why, sir? You cannot meet him now. I must speak to him. He's sleeping, sir. Come some other time. <laughs> I must speak to him now. Or I will. I will smash his glasses. I tell you, sir, he has not slept for last eight nights. Nights? Even if he has not slept for last eight weeks, I don't care. I must speak to him. See, sir, he's fast asleep. Dr. Faustus! My $40! Don't you see, sir? He doesn't hear you. Will you wait now? Let me put your leg. My $40, Dr. Faustus! Oh, 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 my leg! My leg! Mr. Faustus! Come, rascal, to the police! <clears throat> what have you done to me? <laughs> I can't move. <clears throat> oh, no. Madam? Please let me go. I will give you forty dollars more. Well, let me have it. Let me have it. Ask 
keep going? <laughs> Dr. Foster has got his leg again. And the horse coser has got his bundle of hay. <laughs> This trick has cost him another forty dollars.
I shall keep my vow to your law. Do you really need Helen? Yes. yes. Then this and any other thing that you demand will be provided to you in no time.
drag me into hell. Into hell. Oh. oh, God! Look not so hard on me. <laughs> <laughs> 